What's up guys, welcome back to Crypto Weekly Review, home of the Wolfpack. In this episode, we're gonna look at macro markets and I'm gonna explain to you why I think that we are going further lower. And also stick around for the end of the video because I launched an investigation to find out who Richard Hart's devs really are. But hey, let's not waste any more time, let's jump straight into the charts. <laughs> you be all sus, yeah. I just doubled up on crypto. I just doubled down on the new vest. Now my chair looking like two checks. Type of money made me want to two step. Who next? This week, I be on the moon next. Stop going up like two X. That's a fast flip like suplex. Two really stepping like a duplex. You bet. Never lose change, but I do flex. After nine weekly candles, Bitcoin finally has a bounce. But the bulls seem to exit right at the primary pivot. <laughs> Which goes to ask us, is it time to burn down the Lamborghini for insurance? Uh, what is going on here? You want to tell them? I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather not. This is, I'll just watch. <laughs> of course, there are no certainties. There are only probabilities, but this is a confirmed daily downtrend. And this is why we wait to buy the retest, okay? This is why this broke above the 21 exponential moving average right here, but it never confirmed. And now we are below the 21 exponential moving average. Oh, no. <laughs> we are below and rejecting. And that price to look out for is currently right around 30,800. <laughs> Yes, it is quite hard to get above the resistances and the monthly chart isn't looking much better. As you know, we have closed a monthly candle right here. It looks disgusting. We are below the 21 exponential moving average on the monthly chart and rejected it. Look how beautifully and cleanly we rejected that, man. That's, that's not good. That's a confirmed monthly downtrend. And look at that. We are only confirming it now. We were getting support for four months. Now we're confirming a daily downtrend. And not only that, but we're also rejecting the S1 pivot. Oh, no. The monthly chart looks like straight up AIDS, all right? And we are at resistance. And as you know, resistance is, that's when, pow, right in the kisser. However, we are holding the point of control. Right here, we are holding this volume node, tightening range, consolidating below the 21. We could get a pop. We got to get above 32K. Now, if it happens quickly, we all know that's the Bart Simpson pattern. All right. If we get that Bart Simpson to about 38K, the R1 pivot, <laughs> I think that's just a shorting opportunity at this point. I just wish it would be playing out by now because I'm tired of thinking about this stupid Bart pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Our favorite humble cryptocurrency billionaire, Sheng Peng Zhao, has the largest cryptocurrency exchange by volume in the history of the world. All right. At one point on September 25th, 2021, it facilitated a mind numbing $170 billion worth of crypto transactions. Now that is impressive, okay? And I'm sure none of that was bots. All right. Well, CZ Binance went from Seifu to Rectu because he lost $87 billion in 130 days, all right? When Jingpeng Zhao woke up on January 1st, 2022, he was worth $80 billion. And then by the end of the month, he was worth $97 billion dollars the richest man in crypto one of the richest people in the world however his wealth evaporated within three months he is now worth 11 billion dollars okay that is a net loss of 87 billion dollars of personal wealth that has just poof and evaporated which gives him the world record for a person who lost the most money all right you lose good day sir but it is a Cinderella story. After all, he went from flipping burgers to uh, making billions of dollars. It's just we're in a bear market now. So now he's back to flipping pizzas. Our fearless leader, President Joe Biden, has interrupted his nap time to meet with Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve, saying that inflation is the top economic priority. Fed has dual responsibilities. One, full employment, and two, stable prices. Chair Powell and other leaders of the Fed have noted at this moment 
They have a laser focus on addressing inflation. And to show us that he is laser focused on inflation, Biden had an emergency meeting with the K-pop group BTS. We just want to be a little help and we we'll truly appreciate the White House and the government's trying to find solutions. People care a lot about what you say and what you're doing is good for all people. However, not everyone is convinced. In fact, the largest bank in the world, the vampires and market manipulators at JP Morgan Chase think otherwise. In fact, the CEO, Jamie Dimon, says brace yourself for a hurricane. It's a hurricane. It's, we, right now, it's kind of sunny. Things are doing fine. You know, everyone thinks the, the Fed can handle this. That hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or Superstorm Sandy or uh, yeah, Sandy or, or uh, Andrew or something like that. And it's, you, you better brace yourself. I'm here at Barry Island Beach and there's no sign of the storm. The Wells Fargo CEO warns the U.S. that it's going to be hard to avoid some kind of a recession. But he says that American families are strong going into this. So what does it mean? Why are these big bank CEOs coming out and saying that we are going down, okay? Uh, microsecond, vroom, like that. Well, that's easy. They've been selling the bounces and putting in puts, and now that they're short, they're gonna fund the market down. What's that, Shelly? We actually have a digital animation of the Fed soft landing. Play it now. This dash cam footage from Taiwan is as incredible as it is horrifying. All right, it's a sketch. Erase that out of your head. Yeah, um, so they are trying to do a soft landing by raising Fed's funds rate by half a percent. But when inflation is almost 9%, it really does jack shit. They're more or less trying to scare the equity markets into selling because if we raise interest rates to 5%, 40% of our tax revenue goes just to pay the interest on the $26 trillion national debt. So we are in a tight spot and they're trying to tighten on one side, but they're also spending like lunatics on the other side, like giving Ukraine $80 billion so they can buy predator UAVs from us. <laughs> Like, that's one hell of a business model. Here, let us give you a bunch of money that we print out of thin air and then you buy our munitions. The Predator Eagle UAV drone is no joke. It is a long range model. It has 41 hours of flying time with a top speed of 173 miles per hour. Now, this thing is capable to deliver Hellfire laser guided weapons, all right? A lot of people are against this move because if Ukraine flies these into Russia territory, this could spark WW3. Yes, all right, I, I have a negative outlook on the world right now, but I'm living in reality. I'm not gaslighting myself, you know? Like, I think we could get a BART right here, but Look, I, I just, I'm just bearish right now. I think there's gonna be a big capitulation. You know, I'm sitting in USDC, I'm heavy in USD, you know what I mean? And I'm looking for my opportunity. I think there's gonna be a big crash. I really do. I think there's gonna be a big crash and I think we're gonna pump around the elections. I think um, it's gonna be a temporary pump, all right? So that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to catch and that's why I'm painting this picture for you to, so you can see it through my eyes and, and how I see it and, and how I sold the top. You know, I actually sold uh, February 2018 too. Um, so that's two times that uh, I sold the top. So I'm just saying, look, uh, things are looking bad. We might get a BART, I don't know, but that's probably gonna be a short position. The Fed is bringing in the bears to pop this bubble. Hex on the daily chart is looking like hexagons taking Red Bull cans to the face. We wanted to have Richard on because he has literally changed thousands of lives. Ah, uh, yes, and let me show you footage of one. Looks like we do have an Intel Rage candle right here below the point of control on the daily chart. Um, it would be nice to see Hex bounce up to at least touch the 21 exponential moving average right at about 0 0.093 cents. If it doesn't, you know it is in free fall. I'm scared, Dad. 
Do you trust me, son? Yes. Come on, son. Rule number one, never oh. trust anybody. Eric Wall is continuing his absolute crusade against Richard Hart, Hexicans, and Paul Sikins. He wrote this post trolling Trevon James for staking his hex for 15 years, okay? He says the general consensus in the hex community is that Paul's chain is delayed because it is getting rewritten from Geth to Google Go language. Well, <laughs> it turns out Geth literally means Go Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> he later posts this commit to the Pulse Chain network. Uh, read me, rename BSC to Pulse Chain. <laughs> all right, we're done. <laughs> we all know that it's actually a fork of BSC. It's not a fork of Ethereum. So why not just copy paste, airdrop the token copies? What's the big problem? Well, the problem is, of course, that no Ethereum developers want to actually work with Richard Hart because of his antics, okay? So us at Crypto Weekly Review launched an investigation to figure out who these Google devs are and we hit Fiverr and our results are shocking. Yes, we hired an actress to actually email the Google devs and our results are terrifying. I want to see your boobs, send me. Mood and you've been a naughty girl. Guess what? Daddy's got his dick out. And you gotta suck it. I will take you to the candy shop and let you lick the lollipop. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Join the Wolf Pack, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah, and if you made it this far, man, can you drop a comment? I need more comments on this shit. All right, peace.